So in the tutorial, you should now be progressed in developing your Twine game and be able to share your progress with us. Indeed, you could share a link to your game so that we could explore it and see how you're going and provide you with feedback and advice so that it can improve your game. Now, you should also, we're going to talk about um, the application of serious games in various contexts and the game design process that you've gone through in developing your Twine game. Um, so you can share the, um, the circle approach that we've utilized in developing your games and the different quadrants and the questions that you've responded to the various cards and how that has um, been utilized in your game development process. And then finally, we're going to discuss the various genres of games and how different game genres can be used in education in different ways. So you should come prepared having looked at all the different genres and considered where you may have um, used those or played those in the past and how you could utilize each genre in an educational setting. And we'll discuss all of these things in the tutorial.